Even though Jesus came to earth and did good, performed miracles, taught the truth, and eventually sacrificed his life on the cross, there were times when certain people were displeased with Jesus. In fact, there are a few occasions recorded in the Gospels in which people were indignant with Jesus over what he permitted or what he was doing. But why were these people so upset with Jesus? And could we possibly be guilty of having the same attitude today? Well, today let's consider some of these examples. First, we see in Matthew chapter 21, verses 14 through 16, where it says, And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he had done, and the children who were shouting in the temple, Hosanna to the son of David, they became indignant and said to him, Do you hear what these children are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes. Have you never read out of the mouth of infants and nursing babes, you have prepared praise for yourself? So here we see an example of the chief priests being indignant with Jesus. After Jesus had made his triumphant entry into Jerusalem, he cleansed the temple, and healed the blind and the lame who came to him there. Well, the chief priests and the scribes were indignant that Jesus was receiving praise in response to his healing, and likely because of the praise he received upon his arrival in the city. But why were they so upset about this? Well, they set themselves up as the spiritual leaders and guides of the people. Jesus, though, was receiving the honor that they, decide, or that they desired to have for themselves, and this was something that they were not happy about. But also, if we go into Matthew chapter 26, verses 6 through 13, and due to our lack of time today, we won't read this entire passage, but here we see the disciples becoming indignant with Jesus. We find that not long before his betrayal, Jesus had been telling his disciples that he would be handed over to be crucified. Well, prior to this, at the home of Simon the leper in Bethany, a woman came in and anointed Jesus with a very expensive perfume, and the disciples were indignant over what they saw as an apparent waste. They thought that the perfume could be put to better use by selling it and giving the money to the poor. But most of the disciples, they may have had sincere motives in this, but there was one that did not. Judas, who was selfishly motivated, and in fact, John 12 and verse 6 tells us that he used to steal money from the money box of the apostles. He was not pure in his motives. But then Jesus said that this woman had done a good deed and had helped prepare him for his burial. Yet we find that the disciples were still upset because they believed that they had a better plan. Then in Luke chapter 13, verses 10 through 17, we find another example of one who was indignant with Jesus. And here we find an official in the synagogue who became indignant because Jesus had healed someone on the Sabbath day. Rather than rejoicing that this woman who was afflicted for almost two decades had finally been healed from this infirmity, the official in the synagogue wanted to quickly put an end to what he anticipated would happen following after this event, and that was more people coming to Jesus to be healed. He was indignant because Jesus did this on the Sabbath. And in his address to the crowd, he told them to come during the other six days of the week and not on the Sabbath day. He acted as if he was defending the Sabbath law that had been given by God in Exodus 20, verses 8 through 11. Yet in reality, he was defending the man-made rules that the Jews had added to God's law. Jesus did not violate God's law, but he did ignore this man-made law that was standing in the way of him healing this woman in need. But the official in the synagogue was upset with Jesus because he 
wanted to hold on to his traditions rather than submit to the will of God. Friends, it is possible for people today to continue to be indignant with Jesus. We see people today who want to follow after themselves, who want to follow their own plan, who want to bind their own opinions on others. But this is something that we cannot do. If we want to be pleasing to God, then we have to humble ourselves and submit ourselves to the will of God. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today, and have a blessed day.